All right, guys, so in a previous video, we installed this new Minn Kota Trova. Got it installed on the boat. And in this one, we're going to install the uh, heading sensor. We're going to pair the heading sensor to the trolling motor. And then we're going to make an attempt at calibrating it. So let's be out on the water to calibrate. So I'm going to take you back to the garage so you can see the install and the pairing. And then you come back here on the water and we'll see if we can get it calibrated. do is to mount this uh, official name for it as a heading sensor most people call it a GPS puck but this is going to help uh, you don't really have to have this the uh, GPS is built into the Tarova but this makes it more accurate when you pair that with this so you're not supposed to mount it on anything that's a uh, magnetic or on any metal unless it's aluminum I think we're gonna go right here on the console and put it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find pretty much the center of this. I'm gonna drill in with a, with a quarter inch drill bit to run the wire down through. Got that hole drilled and got the cord ran through it. Now, when you install this, you got to make sure that the arrow is pointed toward the front of the boat. If it's not, then it'll throw off your uh, GPS location. So now we're going to take a 964 bit and drill our two screw holes. straight to the battery you can run uh, you can splice in anything hot but we're just gonna run it straight to the battery to be a little more straightforward that way not going to record that part because like I said before every boat's different just the general idea is to get the wire from here to that hatch to the starting battery as easy and hidden as possible all right so we got our heading sensor wire run back uh, successfully to the battery. Recommended a uh, one amp inline fuse on the hot side. So we put in a butt splice, heat shrink, then we put a terminal end heat shrink, and then just a terminal and heat shrink on the on the uh, negative side all right so we've got successfully got power to the heading sensor now we're going to do an attempt on pairing it up with the motor we're going to turn power on to the motor got power we're going to hit the power button on the heading sensor it should start to flash it's flashing 
Then we're going to press and hold the power button on the motor. All right, that was easy enough. All right, so we got the motor deployed. I'll turn the power on. Now, from what I understand, once we power this, yeah, you can see the, dot, the blue light flashing. So once you power this uh, heading sensor with the motor, each time you turn the motor on, it syncs up. So that's good. All right, so now we're going to turn Hit the check mark here, turn our remote on. Okay. Now we're going to scroll down until we get the system. Click on system. I'm going to scroll down sensor cal. Check mark. And then start. So now we're going to have to drive the boat in two complete circles to get the calibrate. I'm going to use the gas motor. I've been told you can use the gas or the motor. We're going to try it this way first. So the remote is going to show a zero here and a circle here. It's going to show our progress of how far we are in the circle. Then when we get one done, this will go to one. If we get two done, this will go to two. Hopefully it'll be successful. Oh, making progress. Pretty sure these people on the bank think we're crazy right now, but that's okay, because we are. All right, there's one. Do one more. Calibration successful. Good deal. Close. Oh, that was easy enough. Thanks for watching. Let's go fishing. <laughs> <laughs>